Hi and welcome to another tutorial from the Golden Ribbon. Today we're looking at the Toucan Animation Tutorial in Blender 2.91. Happy New Year to all of you and I hope you have a prosperous new year at that. Good, so we're going to have a lots of goodies in this tutorial, drivers and hooks. So let's get into it on my new computer. Yes, my new computer. So we'll have a different video about that later on in the month. So we have the Toucan in front of us and we have um, the colors and the parenting done already. I'm not going to go through the parenting or the colors. For the colors, how to set up an SVG in Blender, there will be a tutorial in the description. And for the parenting, I'm going to show you a schem schematic of the parenting for this toucan right now. Now that you've seen the schematic for the parenting for the toucan, um, we can go into you know, just briefly showing you what this should look like. The head should have a master parent. The wings should have a master parent and the left and right wing should have a master parent and the body should control everything except for the legs and feet. So you should still have something that looks like that. So what we wanna do here now is we want to animate this wing. Good, so in order to do that, we're going to have drivers used because if we rotate the wing right here we see that we get movement but it's not so natural like a bird spreading its wings so we're going to use drivers to assist us to help us do that so first up we're going to go over just delete this we're going to go over and select this wing and go over to the z channel in our transform tab and we're going to right click and add driver and what we do when we right and add driver, we're going to see driver property panel come up. And if we look to our right, we see that the Z channel has turned purple. For keyframes, it's yellow. For Z, it's purple. And we're going to go ahead and just change some options here to get the desired result. First, we're going to look at this red box, which is Blender us telling us that we can't use any expression in this driver um, because we don't have anything that's targeted to con for the driver to target to. So we're just gonna go ahead and select our master empty for our right wing. And I name my wing controller right. Good. And we see that the wing moves. So it's being controlled now by the master empty at the top. We're gonna change the type to a Z rotation. And we're gonna change the expression to a var multiplied by 2.4 cool let's come out of the driver for a second this is the master empty for the right side good so you want to keep this in mind here master empty for the right side that's what i named the wing controller cool we're going to do this same process but for this bl lighter blue wing right here so we're going to go to the z channel add driver we're going to say var multiply it this time by 1.01 .01. and then we're going to go over to the object and for this object we're going to se select the same right wing controller good and then we're going to go to the z rotation channel for type cool so now if we select the master parent controller and we press r to rotate we can see that the bird's wing is indeed rotating and spreading like a natural bird's wing would. I'm gonna do the same for the left here. <clears throat> I'm gonna select this first wing and with that first wing selected, let's go ahead and add a driver. I'm gonna say var multiply by 1.01 .01, and we're gonna change the object to wing controller, this time a left. And then we're gonna go over to the type and we want it z rotation i'm going to do the same here add driver var multiply by 2.4 this time and we're going to go ahead and just enter the driver target which is the wing controller left and we're going to select type of z rotation so if we rotate this one we'll get the same effect as we did the right cool now we're going to go ahead and add the mouth of the toucan. If you notice here, we didn't add the mouth from the um, SVG tutorial. I deleted it so that we can add it here in Blender. So we're just going to go Shift A 
and we're going to say curve and bezier. You can also find this by going to add curve and bezier up at the top. And the bezier will appear where the 3D cursor is. So we're just gonna go ahead and press tab, select this um, handle there, we're gonna say G and Y, and just grab this and make this as straight as possible. Then we're just gonna go ahead and shorten some of these handles. Go and just G and Y, bring this across. And we're gonna shorten some of these handles too. G, X and GX and just shorten the bezier a bit here. Then we're gonna press tab to come out of edit mode. Um, to edit the, the bezier, you have to go into edit mode. So you press tab to go there. Press G and Y, bring this down. And G and X, bring it across. And we see that we have the straight bezier line, this orange line right here. And we're gonna go ahead and thicken this. We're gonna to go to the bezier tab. That's this green line with two nodes at the end. We're gonna select bevel from geometry. Make sure it's dropped down. We're gonna select the depth. It's gonna be 0 0.035. Then we're gonna hold shift, select this blue right here. And we're gonna to go to object, make links, materials. And all that does is set the material of the selected object to the material of the object that we selected last. So. Now that we have it in the correct material, let's go ahead and add some, let's go ahead and add our hook. So we're going to press tab to go back into edit mode, select this node to the right hand side, and we're going to go and press control and H. And we're going to say hook to new object. Now hooks are powerful, um, it's a powerful tool in Blender that allows us to essentially um, connect a node or a vertice to a empty so that we can animate the empty outside and that node or vertice is parented to that empty so basically we can parent we can animate nodes and vertices outside of edit mode which is very very powerful then we're going to go over to our axes i don't like the plane axis so i'm just going to go ahead and pick a cone for the empty itself i think that's easier to select Good. and then let's go ahead and animate this. We're gonna bring back the timeline to zero, select this cone right here. We're gonna go to transform channel on our right hand side, keyframe the Y and keep Y on the location channel and keyframe the um, Z axis on the rotation channel. We're gonna move the timeline to 15, press G and Y to lift this up Good, and we're gonna press R and Z to turn this round. And yeah, I think for the most part, this looks okay. And this should give us a smile. Let's just move this handle in a bit. Good, this should give us an okay smile. You may need to go back into edit mode and sort of just rotate the, and just mess about with the handle so that you get a better result. Cool, and let's just go ahead and insert this keyframe now for this empty insert, insert single keyframe. So now we get a smile, awesome. So that's animated well. <coughs> just move this down a bit, <coughs> excuse me. All right. So now that this is down here a bit, so we've got this smile, let's play it again, yeah. Cool, so for the next part now, we're just gonna animate the whole sequence now. So the first thing we're gonna do is select the head for the toucan, and we're just gonna go ahead and add a keyframe for the X, the Y, and the rotational Z. Good, and we're gonna move it 15 frames, and we're just going to go ahead and rotate this head up. Good, and as we rotate it, we notice that the mouth is being left behind. So let's go ahead and just parent these to the rest of the beak. So let's hit Control and P. So now that when we rotate the head, we shouldn't have any problems. Let's go ahead and rotate it again. Good, we notice the head's being lost behind the wing. So we're just going to go ahead and move it along the Y upwards a bit. 
and we're going to just move along the X and insert those keyframes too. So we get the head moving up. Awesome. Next, we're gonna animate the wings and we're gonna do a similar thing. We're just gonna go ahead, but we're only gonna use the Z um, channel for the rotation. We're gonna insert a single keyframe with the master right selected, go to 15. Um, let's go to, let's go to 18 here and just increase the wings so that we have a bit of a stagger. I think 18.9 is good. And let's go ahead and do the same here for the left. Insert keyframe, go to frame 18 and let's see if we can hit negative 18.9. Cool. And insert single keyframe. Awesome. So we see that the wings are coming up. And last, we're going to move the whole body up as we do so. So we're just going to go ahead and select this body parent here. Go to, um, we're going to go to location Y at zero, go to frame 15. And we're going to increase this Y up a bit. Insert keyframe. So now that when we play it, yeah, this looks really good. See that the whole bird is indeed moving up for this animation. Cool. So for the next part now, we want these birds to sort these wings to sort of flutter as it comes up. So just going to insert some keyframes here. One at frame 14 here for the left wing and frame 14 for the right wing. Then we're going to go and press this here and we're going to see some options. We want to go to the animation drop down and we're going to select graph editor. I'm going to play about with the animation a bit. Next, we're just going to go ahead and go to our modifiers tab. Our modifiers tab is on the right hand side of our um, graph editor viewport or view box. And we're going to go to by default, it's on the F curves. I'm going to go to modifiers and we're going to add a modifier and the modifier is going to be noise. Good. And this noise modifier adds noise to the motion. And we see that the wing is fluttering. So we're just going to control this flutter. Good. And because I've already done this, I'm just going to use the values that I did from before. So let's go ahead and just use these values here find it easier to sort of use the values I've already used already. Cool. All right, so we've got 2.5 for scale, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.9. All right, and you're free to use my values too. 0 0.1, 0 0.1. And, um, Um, this is nine. We go back and see what it was again. Oh, 0 0.9 and 10. Okay. And change this to 0 0.9 and change this to 10. Cool. Awesome. So it's gotten that flutter that I like. And all we're going to do is just come to the part where it begins to start to rise and about here, frame 10, we're just going to go ahead and restrict the noise frame from frame 10. And we do that from restrict frame range here. And we're going to take it to frame 30. Cool. And just going to do the same for the left wing now. So let's go ahead and add the modifier here which is a noise just check the frame from frame is it 10 to frame 30 all right and we're going to use the same sort of metrics here let's go over let's see what we selected for the left wing make sure we select the channel negative 2.5 negative 0 0.1 8.5 so I'm going to say negative 2.5, 0 0.1, 8.5, 0 0.1, 8.5, 0 0.1, 8.5, 0 0.1, 8.5, 0 0.1, 8.5, 0 0.1, 8.5, 0 0.1, 8.5, 0 0.1, 8.5,
8.5 and we're gonna say this is 0 0.9 and this is should be um, a 10 is it negative 0 0.9 let me just check yes it is negative 0 0.9 Good. So this should be just about right. Cool. Awesome. So both of them seem to be moving. Let's check it. Start from frame 10 to frame 0. Make sure everything is correct. The scale should be negative 2.5. Oh, well, negative 25, negative 2.5. Let's see how 2 looks. Mm -hmm. I think 2 is good. All right. And that looks like a toucan animation. I won't go into the other animations that we saw in the thumbnail because once you know this one, you can do the others. You know, but this should do it. Again, if you want to see my values, you can always pause and stop and see the video to see my values. So if you enjoy this tutorial, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, be sure to ask. I'll do my best to answer them. I don't perceive to know all things and I'm happy to hear whatever um, viewpoints or suggestions or constructive criticisms that you have. Again, enjoy the rest of your day. And until I see you again with another tutorial, get up and design. I knew Dawn. Later.